Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we got from 2020 Hong Kong Mass Olympiad. In this problem, we have a number n and its value is power of 2 of 10 to the power of 2020 plus 2020. We want to find some of all the digits that we have in n. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, we are going to simplify n. To do so, we will use an identity. Remember, power of 2 of a plus b is equal to a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. If we use this identity, we are going to have 10 to the power of 4040 plus 2 times 20, 20 times 10 to the power of 2020 plus 2020 squared. Now we have three terms for n. We are going to evaluate each term separately. The first term is 10 to the power of 4040. Obviously, the final value of 10 to the power of 4040 is something similar to putting 1 and then 4040 on the right hand side. If we use the same trick for the second term, we are going to have 10 to the power of 2020 is equal to 1 and then 2020 zeros on the right hand side. However, here we have 2 times 2020 times 10 to the power of 2020. We know that 2 times 2020 is equal to 4040. So at the end, we will have 4040 and then 2020 zeros on the right hand side. For the last term, we are going to simplify it directly. And now we have three terms and for each term we have the final value. We want to add them together. To add them together, we are going to start from the right hand side. To do so, we are going to put the blue number that we have here and then we are going to have many zeros and then 4040 and then a lot of zeros again and the last digit is going to be 1. Now we want to find some of the digits that we can have in n. Obviously the answer is going to be very easy. We will have 1 for the first term, 4 and 4 for the second term, and then 4, 8 and 4 for the last term. And then we added them together to find the final answer, which is 25 here. Now let's summarize what we've done to solve this problem. We wanted to find some of all the digits that we can have in n. To do so, we first simplified n to have three terms. For each term, we calculated the number. The number was big, but we could write it in a special way. We used the property that we have for 10 to the power of n. And then we added the digits together to find the final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and mass involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.